My name's Dan Meredith and uh, my job title is Energy Policy Manager. My job is to look after um, the government affairs side of, of, of Eon, the energy company. So energy is very political, um, right from the big political stuff like um, gas in Russia and, and those kind of things and making sure that the UK has got enough gas and things like that, um, to things like climate change and the fact that carbon emissions comes from burning coal and gas and things like that, um, prices for electricity bills and all these political things. And government want to do something about that in one way or another. They want to tackle climate change, they want to make sure we've, the lights stay on and prices aren't too high. Um, and they don't necessarily know the best way of making that happen. And we try and um, ensure that whatever they do, we can make happen in terms of what we do in Eon. Dad was an engineer um, who didn't really enjoy what he did that much um, and felt he'd make, made the wrong kind of career choice. Um, and so he was always very good about saying, you do what you enjoy doing. And I was very interested in space and things as a kid, and I thought I would end up doing physics. And I was always quite good at physics and doing physics with GCSE, but then I hit A-levels, and I'd done pretty awfully at physics, but I'd flown through the biology and got an A. And it was a slap in the face. And it does take you a, a moment to think, to, you're on a set course, and you have to see, it takes a lot of, of guts, I think, in a way, to, to sit back and say, well, hang on a minute, that's maybe not where I should end up after all. It's the one and only time I went to a careers place and I didn't really know what to do or I, you know, I just went and found one in the phone book and went to one close and it not really occurred to me to do it before but I really felt like I needed to talk to someone and say, well, you know, I've been on this path for so long, this is just what I'm going to do, but should I be over here and doing this instead? I think it fell down to me at the end. It was useful to talk to someone, but it was, you know, at the end of the day, I just made the leap and said, well, look, I've got to, uh, this is silly, I've got to go for biology because I'm flying through it. It's, it's that easy and it's really interesting. I ended up getting really interested in the environment, particularly in how the natural world works. Um, and I ended up doing ecology and studying evolution and things like that at, at university and getting really into the environment and, 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 and so on. And I ended up um, getting an environmental science master's um, through not really knowing what to do after my degree, <laughs> which was, you know, just to widen out my, my sort of breadth of knowledge of, from an ecology degree to something wider. I fell into this job after a while that was with a power company, and it was a great job. Yeah, it was, it was interesting, but it took me a long time to get to where I was, but I was always interested in the environment. I guess I've been lucky to always work in the environment, in sort of environmental sector. I've always had a, a, a focus in that way, in, in a sense. Yes, I probably have got a sort of uh, a streak of a know-it-all in me that I like to, to know, even if I don't tell everybody, I like to know why things happen. And, and Certainly I'm interested in the big questions in life, why am I here and what are we doing and what are we trying to achieve? Well, I think philosophy is a fantastic thing to study, it's just because it sort of teaches you how to think, it gives you different ways of thinking, and that's, that, you need that to talk to people, to understand what they're thinking. I think my job um, does, in some ways, reflect what I believe in terms of, of, of philosophy and Richard Dawkins and, and evolution. Um, because we're all in it together, you need to understand that the world is this quite small place and there's a lot of people on there that are different and they're all di thinking different things and have different objectives in life. Um, and if we don't work together in some way, then catastrophe could happen in terms of global warming, climate change, those kind of things, or the lights could simply go out or whatever. And I like to get sort of into the dirty of, well, this is the idea and this is where we've got to go. How is it really going to work? And that's what politics is at the end of the day. This is how it's going to work.